Hello and welcome to my easy to understand guide to the hypodermic needle theory. The hypodermic needle theory originated in Laswell's books um, and the general idea is that the media are very powerful. The audience is passive and has no control and the media are powerful and dominant. A hypodermic needle is one of those kind of injection type needles that you get. So the theory is that the media is injecting the audience with their messages. It's this idea that the media can directly influence your thoughts, behaviours and actions. And that an audience is helpless. You can't do anything about it. You will be injected with these messages and you will have no power to say no or to react in any other way than the producers intend you to. If you have a look at things like propaganda in the war, you know, there was this idea that they were trying to inject the message into the audience that Britain was successful and powerful and heroic and that they were going to win. If you have a look at party political broadcasts now, very much trying to directly inject messages into the audience um, to try and convince them that that particular party is the right one to vote for. In the 2016 US election, there were a lot of people who created fake news online in an attempt to directly influence the audience in terms of their voting decisions. You can see from some of these posts on social media that they've created very clear messages in an attempt to directly inject the audience with these messages and influence their voting. This theory does revolve around the fact that they think the audience is passive though. And you may argue that an, an audience isn't always passive. A lot of people challenge this theory because audiences don't always react in the same way to media products. So have a think about the media products you're studying. Are they trying to directly inject messages into an audience's brain? Um, are an audience completely helpless and powerless to resist? Or are some audiences standing up and saying, no, I don't accept what you're saying? So have a little think about that. And then you might be able to see whether or not the hypodermic needle theory could be applied or whether that product actually challenges that theory. So that was my easy to understand guide to the hypodermic needle theory. Don't forget to check out my channel for lots of other videos that help with simple media studies, theories, keywords and set texts.